All I'm saying is, Steve, tell him to keep his mouth shut because I will drop a kung fu kick on his left knee. Check, 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 check this shit out. Bet you weren't. I bet you weren't. What? What was I gonna say? I bet you weren't expecting to see me on a Wednesday. This is Van Cam. It's Kevin Ashford. Kev Ashford, whatever you want to call me. Peter Crouch, Teabag. Keep them coming. It's great crap. I've, I'm only doing a little preview for the Crystal Palace game because I've got time. Van Cam is usually. Uh, I think a beauty that just appears on a Friday night that people have the crap with and can relate to for some reason. But today, I thought, I'm ripping out a midweek one. Why not? Why not? Somebody give me a good excuse why not. I've got five minutes to kill. So it's not going to be the full show. It's not going to be your usual, yeah, I've just had Steve here in me ear. But Steve's always in me ear. Uh, but you're not going to get the extensive research and stuff. Uh, I'll leave that till Friday because I bet I'll talk about the game, talk about the, the Palace game which is this evening, a look ahead to West Brom. Uh, but Crystal Palace is tonight. Mkhitaryan's out. Gutted, man. Absolutely gutted. Over in Dublin last weekend watching uh, United against Tottenham. Thought it was a great performance. And Mkhitaryan running the show and that prick Danny Rose manages just to catch him, done a cynical foul. Twatish, I'd call it, not cynical actually. He knew what he was doing. And Mkhitaryan, who's been United's best player easily for the last four or five games, is now on the sidelines. So hopefully it's not too long, but I suppose the big debate will be who's going to replace him. Is it going to be Fat Wazza? Mata? Well, what I've done, instead of doing extensive research, I've only gone and wrote out my own team sheet of, the, of what I would play if I was in Mourinho's shoes told you last week when watching Van Cam, I'm just getting onto a whole new level now and nobody is going to touch me. Look at this. The file effects is coming out but don't be worried. I know I've cursed a hell of a lot of games there where we drew 1-1 one, one through getting the file effects out, the Louis Van Gaal dossier and slagging teams off. So I've reverted not to doing that. It's worked against Tottenham. I'll keep it up. This is the dossier but this is my team. Hopefully you can see that. Try and put it here because I've got no uh, no fancy, what do you call it, sort of things to put on the screen, you know. But I reckon you get the gist of that if you just have a quick look and then I'll read it out to you. So, and I'm going to talk through it with a pen as well like Louis Van Al, so it makes me look what I'm doing. I can just bring it in here. Can you see there? This, we've got David De Gea, Daily Blin left back, Damian right back, Bailey who's back and in top form in a Looks like he's not even been injured. Uh, Phil Jones, who's doing all right. Due an injury, though, isn't he? Jesus. But doing well. Uh, then I've got a midfield three. Carrie Colding, Herrera and Pogba. But I'm giving Pogba a bit of licence. I'm going to show you what I mean in a minute. Rashford out wide, right. I think Rashford's a bit low on confidence, but I think pace. You know, get into them. Get into Crystal Palace. Good, good team, Palace. So yeah, can't slag him off. Martial on the left. He's low on confidence as well. I'm hoping he can have a good game. And the main man at the top, Zlatan. I, I, I didn't even write Ibrahimovic. Just put Zlatan. Zlatan. But it's this. If we can make this out now. Pogba is going to be roaming up with Zlatan. And basically coming around. Protecting the back four as well with Carrick. Uh Jones, he's got the right side here covering De Gea. Uh, and again, on this side, Daly Blaine's going to be pushing up. Uh, Damian here. I, I would expect Jones to be making a few runs, you know, out here. And again with Pogba, because he's left-sided. You know, make them runs. Make them up there, Pogba. Good lad. Uh, and then, I mean, at the tip here... We're looking really, if, if Zlatan can expose the space in behind this this Crystal Palace team, uh, if he can just make a little run out here, you've got Rashford, Rashford's just below. I, I hope you can see what I'm getting at here, because uh, research is a big thing, 
And to come out of a team plan like this, I mean, if I was Mourinho, this is what I would be bringing out to the players, saying, lads, pinning that on the board and saying, look, just do your jobs for Christ's sake, get three points, and let's look, look, ahead, look ahead to West Brom. But like I said, I'm up to five minutes, talking shite for five minutes, I don't know how I do it. The only reason I've done it, a few people ask me. In fact, if I be serious, three people ask me. Would I be doing a midweek one? I've never really done it. I've always stuck to the Friday. I cover what happened in the week and look ahead to the weekend game. I'm still doing it on Friday. That's going to be the main one. And get involved. The video's going up. Well, it's obviously up now because you're watching it. Comment. What kind of a team's that? If you disagree, tell me yours. Don't just say that team's shit. Give me a reason. Tell me who you'd play. Would you play for Laney? If you would, you're obviously on crack. But just let me know. The channel, it's up and running now. Kevin Ashford 7, I think it's under on YouTube. Kev Ashford Van Cam, you can search. Kevin Ashford 7, it's the same as my Twitter name. Subscribe, because it's the only way you're going to know about videos like this. Because I haven't got time to be going and promoting it on social media and all that. So if you subscribe to YouTube... You're going to get the notification, aren't you, if you've got them turned on. And you'll think, what the hell is going on? Kev Ashford has released a video on a Wednesday. I've got to watch this. I hope it entertain you. I hope you like it. It is Crystal Palace tonight. Like I say, the proper Van Cam will return on Friday. Usually goes up about 7, 8 o'clock. Give, give you time to get back. Get a bath with some candles or whatever you're into. A shower for the blokes or whatever. Uh and just like get your first beer into you before you watch it because you need it listening to me don't you an absolute dick like me anyway you're gonna get one of these crystal palace tonight crystal palace eric Cantona jumped in the, the crowd and kung fu kicked one of the fans that's all you need to know about them come on united it started with a kiss and ever thought it would come to 